What are some of the best work from home ideas that you've tried? Well, in today's video, we're going to cover the 10 best home business ideas in the UK that you can strategize and implement to earn you a great amount of profits. Before I dive straight into these ideas, make sure that you're subscribed to our YouTube channel, as well as join both our Facebook and Discord community, where we all help each other grow on our dropshipping journeys. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So let's briefly go over what are some of the pros and cons to making money online in the UK. When we sell both our products and services, we of course have access to a large amount of people from all over the world. Also, when you work remotely, there's no need to travel to work or worry about travel expenses. Another note is that you don't have to worry about overhead costs such as paying office space rent. And working from home just essentially means that you can work without restrictions. You can work in both a time and place that is suitable for you and you can work according to your own hours, which if you think about it, boosts morale and improves your productivity. However, with some pros does come some cons. Because you're working from home now, it does mean that you will experience more distractions than usual. That's exactly why it's important to create an atmosphere at home where you can both work and live without blending the two. Remember, when you work from home, that does not exempt you from complying with traditional UK business regulations such as bats and customs duty. Another thing to note is that your social life can take a toll when working from home. It becomes harder to connect with co-workers as well as the company itself. A great way to combat this is to frequently connect with your colleagues through Zoom or Skype meetings. Or better yet, if they are in your area, that's a great opportunity for you to meet up with them. So now we're going to cover the 10 best UK home business ideas to boost your profit margins. Let's go. The first home business idea we have is sell your homemade products. If you have a hobby that you really enjoy, then why not turn it into a money-making business? For example, if you really enjoy arts and crafts or painting, that's a great way to sell your skills online. You have to remember that social media such as TikTok videos and Instagram reels are trending right now. So shooting content of the things you create is a great way to market your online venture. Another suggestion is that you can sell your homemade goodies on marketplace platforms such as eBay or Facebook Marketplace. The more you sell your homemade products, eventually you'll be able to upgrade your selling limits too. Our next idea is that you can offer web design services. You have to remember that in this modern day and age, websites are compulsory for every business owner, which of course means there's a high demand for website builders and designers. So as a web designer, you can provide your services to business owners to either build their websites from scratch or to optimize their current websites. And of course, in return, you charge a fee for your services. Another idea on the list is to become a YouTuber, just like me, I guess. Who doesn't want both the fame and fortune with millions of subscribers? Except we at Autodesk don't want the fortune part. As we know, YouTube has become a platform that has provided many people with an opportunity to make money online. Your channel can seriously just blow up overnight. Don't put anything past it. That of course also depends on how good your content is. Video creators can earn from their videos by either running ads before or during their videos. Another way to generate an income on YouTube is through sponsorships from other companies. Another great idea is to do SEO consulting. To clarify for those who don't know, SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. And SEO consulting is essentially a service that helps people to improve their website's search engine ranking. Some SEO consultants offer packages that include monthly or quarterly reports of the progress of their customers' sites. Other consultants will offer a more personalized service where they work with the customer on an hourly basis. Another work from home idea is to create a blog. You have to remember that many businesses and service providers rely on blogs to promote their businesses. There are also different methods to monetizing your blog, such as affiliate marketing, Google AdSense, and paid reviews. So not only is a blog there to allow your creative passion to shine through, but it's also there for you to promote both your products and services. Our content team has done a great job to building our e-commerce blog to what it is today. The next grand work from home idea is to become a UK affiliate marketer. If you didn't know, affiliate marketing is a type of performance-based marketing. Businesses basically reward affiliates for every customer that purchases products or services through an affiliate marketing efforts. So how are you able to do this? You can use your blog to promote the products or services using your affiliate link. 
And when viewers click on the link, it redirects them to the other business's product page. If the customer buys the products or subscribes to the services, the conversions are tracked, which means that you can earn a commission on a per click basis. The next idea is to start a UK print on demand business. And if you have a passion for designs, this is a great way to make some money. Just to refresh your memory, Print On Demand is a order fulfillment service that allows you to customize products such as t-shirts, mugs, hats, pillowcases, and so much more with your own designs and then sell them in your store. This idea is a great way to earn higher profit margins because these products are unique and not so easily available on the markets. Our next home business idea is to buy and sell marketplaces such as eBay, Facebook Marketplace, and Amazon. Now I know what you're thinking, everyone can buy and sell marketplaces, but the secret is in buying low and selling high. Remember with marketplaces, you're not restricted to only selling in one region. Just keep in mind though that that excludes Facebook Marketplace. If you do not live in the US or you do not have a US IP address and a social security number, it'll be very difficult for you to drop ship on Facebook Marketplace because you'll have no available shipping options. However, with the marketplaces, eBay and Amazon, you can enjoy selling in different regions. Okay, our second home business idea is to start a podcast. Besides optimizing a blog and a YouTube channel, you can also create audio content well known as podcasts. By starting a podcast, you can gradually build your audience base and attain a steady income stream. If you've never thought about it before, it's actually quite easy to start a podcast channel. The first step for you to take is to decide whether or not you want your podcast to be entertaining or informative. Then you need to select a category which will form as the base of your discussions in your podcast. Categories can be things such as technology, sport, fashion, travel. Another great thing is that you can invite people or influencers on your podcast to discuss various subjects. I can 100% guarantee you that if you had to invite an influencer onto your podcast, you'd attract more listeners, resulting in a wider audience. And our final idea, which is the best out of them all, start a UK dropshipping business. As we know, dropshipping is an e-commerce business model where we fulfill customers' orders without holding any inventory. Instead, we just partner with well-known dropshipping suppliers who holds the inventory in their warehouses and delivers the products straight to our customers. And as dropshippers, we just act as the middleman between the customer and the supplier. The best thing about this whole business model is that we only actually pay the supplier once we sell the product. Therefore, this make money from home idea is the most efficient method with low risk risk and high reward. Not to mention all the ideas that I've mentioned thus far in the video can be combined in the dropshipping model to increase your profits. For example, you can combine blogging with the dropshipping model, which is exactly what we do on our e-commerce blog page. This is where we post all our dropshipping related articles, guides, and templates. Another example is combining a podcast with the dropshipping model, which is again, exactly what we do. We have a podcast where all our dropshipping episodes are available for download on various platforms. Let's go back to talking about combining blogging with the dropshipping model. So if your dropshipping store has been built on the Shopify platform, you can actually utilize the built-in blog tool feature. From there, you'll be able to write valuable content that can also help you to rank higher for SEO results. All in all, running a dropshipping business is profitable. And might I just add, when you add automation to your dropshipping stores, you're guaranteed to multiply your profits. Manually operating your dropshipping store can take countless of hours because you're constantly adding and fulfilling hundreds of products and customers' orders. But when you automate your dropshipping business by, for example, using AutoDS automation dropshipping tools, you instantly avoid the time-consuming process of doing everything manually and you can easily scale your online store. Why and how, you might ask? Because our automation features such as our product research tool, our product importing tool, our price and stock monitoring and automatic orders tool, as well as our complete order fulfillment solution and automatic price optimization does every single thing for you. So we've gone through the 10 best UK home business ideas. Let's now briefly cover how you can start a UK home business in 10 easy steps. The first step is to choose a profitable UK home business idea. And we're going to go with dropshipping for obvious reasons that you can receive high profit margins between 20 to 60%. It's also a low risk and high rewards business. And even if you fail with one niche, you will not suffer major losses. There are hundreds of niches 
available, which you can easily test to see what works for you and your online store. Step two would be to comply with the UK business regulations. It doesn't matter which home-based business idea you decide to go with. You are not exempt from complying with the rules and regulations related to UK-based businesses. Now, in terms of drop shipping, business owners should comply with the following standards. First off, you should make sure that you're only drop shipping legal products. To avoid landing up in trouble, you should not list any legal products such as eBay Vero products and age restricted items. Remember that animals, drugs and weapons all fall under this category. You should also adhere to the UK special consumer laws. There are two types of different laws that you should follow. The first law is the competition and consumer laws for businesses. And the second one is the UK's online and distance selling law. So the competition and consumer law for businesses outlines how dropshippers compete, how they treat their customers and how they sell their products. And the UK's online and distance selling law regulates your dropshipping transactions. Step three is to perform UK product research. When you're starting your UK dropshipping business, you need to find the right products to sell. Therefore, you need to perform effective product research and offer products that are in high demand. This way, you can increase your sales, lower your risks, and eventually earn more profits. So how can you perform this product research? Well, here are a few ways. First up, you can check suppliers trending pages like Amazon's best sellers or their movers and shakers section. AliExpress now has a new and improved dropshipping center that is made specifically for dropshippers. And if you didn't know, you actually have the ability to spy on your competitors with the Koala Inspector Chrome extension. Lastly, you also have the AutoDS product research tool that allows you to explore various products from both US and Chinese suppliers. With this tool, you can explore high potential products using various search filters such as reviews, categories, price, ratings, and much more. Step four would be to set up your UK dropshipping business. So you'll obviously need a platform to showcase the products that you're selling. Therefore, you need to open a store on a selling channel. So there are two types of selling channels out there. So one is a customizable e-commerce platform, which allows you to create your UK dropshipping website with your own domain. You'll also have access to ready-made store templates, themes, logos, images, and much more to customize your dropshipping websites. Now, the selling channels that fall under these customizable e-commerce platforms are both Shopify and Wix. Now, Shopify and Wix can be categorized under customizable e-commerce platforms. This is because you're able to personalize your dropshipping store according to your brand vision. The second type of selling channels are marketplaces. Now, marketplaces are trading channels with existing traffic and platforms such as eBay, Amazon, and Facebook Marketplace can be categorized under this type of selling channel. Marketplaces constantly have active users, which helps your store to become more visible to customers. And although you don't really have the opportunity to brand your store like Wix and Shopify, you'll still be able to attract just as much or even way more customers to your website Website because of the organic traffic that is already there. Let's dive into some of the features of both types of selling channels. So starting off with eBay, eBay has a really easy to use interface and you're able to start selling on eBay as soon as you create an eBay seller account. The platform has a low setup cost, which means that you can start selling with a zero upfront investment. As mentioned already, eBay provides you with organic traffic and you can easily promote your products on eBay with two promotional methods. The first promotion method is promoted listing standard. And the second promotional method is promoted listings advanced PPC. So with the first method, you do not have to pay to promote your listings. And with the second method, you have to pay or run ads to promote your listings. Now, when it comes to Wix's features, they are a fully customizable platform. They offer a drag and drop tool, which easily allows you to manage your website's content and visuals. And they're integrated with advanced dropshipping apps and e-commerce tools that you can select from the Wix app markets. Now, when it comes to the features of Shopify, they have various designer made templates ready for you to choose from for your online store. You can customize these templates to make them more engaging because this will help to increase traffic to your store. Shopify also has an app store and from the app store, you can gain access to over 3000 apps, which will 100% take your UK dropshipping business to the next level. Shopify also provides excellent customer service, which is available 24 seven in all languages. So if you are a beginner, Shopify is an excellent option because you may experience some issues or need help along the way. 
Step five would be to select a reliable UK dropshipping supplier. And here are some of the following factors that goes into selecting a supplier. First up, you should ensure that your supplier has warehouses located right in the UK. This is because your suppliers can swiftly ship products straight out to your customers, which will result in higher customer satisfaction for you. You have to ensure that your supplier has clear business policies. You have to remember that your business policies are usually based on your supplier's business policies. Therefore, you should avoid working with dropshipping suppliers that has complex return policies and extended shipping times. You should always work with dropshipping suppliers where you can source high quality products at affordable prices. Sourcing high quality products helps you to establish your online store's name. And of course, if you source the products at a low cost, you can price them competitively, allowing you to attain a higher profit margin. Always choose a dropshipping supplier that provides excellent customer service. Remember that the customer service that you receive from your supplier is the exact same customer service that you'll extend to your customers. And last but not least, before choosing a dropshipping supplier, you should always check out previous customer reviews. This way, you'll be able to gain more insight into whether or not it's worth it to work with this specific dropshipping supplier. Make sure to check out the 25 plus dropshipping suppliers that AutoDS supports. This includes AliExpress UK, Amazon UK, Wayfair UK, and so much more. Now step six would be to add products to your dropshipping store. This is the perfect time to incorporate the automatic method to keep up with orders and increase your sales. So what automatic tools can we use? Well, we can use the AutoDS product importer tool, which allows you to import the product's title, description, images, and variations in a few seconds, which of course saves you so much time and effort as opposed to doing it manually. We also have a bulk importing feature, which allows you to import tens and thousands of products in just a few clicks. Moving on to step seven, it's now time to market your UK dropshipping store. As we know, marketing your store allows you to increase your website traffic and generate more sales. So let's have a look at how we're able to market the top three selling channels, Wix, Shopify and eBay. So let's have a look at eBay first. There are two ways to market on eBay. The first way is to use promoted listing standard where you can feature your products on eBay. More customers will be able to find your products in their search results and hopefully buy from you. And if they do purchase from you, that is the only time you'll pay a promotional fee. Now, if we have a look at the eBay promoted listings advanced, this allows us to run ads on eBay. This of course will help your products to rank higher on the eBay search result page. And this marketing feature works on a pay per click method, the PPC method. So that essentially means that eBay will charge you a certain fee every time somebody clicks on your ad. Let's now have a look at Wix and Shopify marketing. Just like eBay's PPC method, dropshippers can promote their products on Shopify and Wix using the pay per click method on either Facebook, Google, or YouTube. Just remember that you have to pay the platform that you're marketing on whenever somebody clicks on the ad. The next marketing method is email marketing, where you can run an email campaign to help you generate more sales and of course, help you to build a loyal customer base. Our final marketing method is influencer marketing. Now, I would only establish this marketing method to dropshippers who have already established their online stores. The reason for this is because influencers have a huge amount of following and you have to pay them to promote your products or services. Now, this could either go left, a big waste of money, or it could go right, a huge success, which means that that's more sales for your business or more traffic that's driven to your online store you never know the outcome. Step eight means that you're finally ready to launch your UK home business. And that means, of course, to optimize your store to the fullest. That means to automate your business, to enhance your profits, and to fulfill your store's potential. Make sure to check out our wide range of impressive AutoDS features that can help you to automate your dropshipping business. Or better yet, head to the article version of this video, which can be found in the description box below, where we go into depth about what each of our automation features does. Step nine would be to fulfill your customers' orders when you're selling your products online. You should also fulfill them promptly because it increases customer satisfaction and helps to build long lasting relationships with them. In short, order fulfillment basically means heading over to your supplier's website for each order, filling in your customer's details, and then placing the order. And finally, step 10 is to always provide excellent customer support. There are various tools that you can implement on your website to enhance your customer service, such as providing a live chat where your customers can instantly contact you. You can provide a currency converter tool, which detects the login 
location of your customers and then converts all your products prices to your customers local currency. Not only that, but also just making sure that your website is user friendly. Customers will want to shop on your website if they can easily navigate themselves and find exactly what they've come there to look for. As small as these little things may be, you have to remember that these things help you to differentiate yourself from the competition and to help you build a loyal customer base. And there we go, dropshippers. You've reached the end of this video. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope that you found some valuable information out of this video. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you're kept up to date with everything that's happening in the dropshipping world. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for tuning in.